going on guys? Brandon here with Texas Plinking making a video on nothing particularly new, but two old things that got shuffled around, so feels new. Um, I showed off two M1As, in the, well, multiple M1As in the past, but two in particular. It was an M1A in 6.5 Creedmoor in an Archangel chassis. That's the way it comes from Springfield Armory. And I've also made a video with the Scout Squad in uh, 308, and that was in a uh, Sage EBR chassis, this one right here. And I suppressed it. It was always cool, but to be honest, I don't think that really deserved the Sage EBR chassis as far as its performance. And it was just kind of brutal to shoot suppressed. It just blew a bunch of crap back in my face. Don't really care for that. Uh, it looked really cool though, but I figured it'd be kind of interesting to put those two together. So that's what we have. So again, nothing particularly new, but should be a fun long range shooter. Not a whole lot of recoil before, but now it really sits still. And it's just a fun gun to kind of go through the motion with. But again, already zeroed it in. Seems like it did okay. I'm not going to go for tight groupings. I only did like three rounds and it seems like it's within an inch. So that's fine, but I'd rather just shoot long range. I'm not going to get too analytical today. On top is a scope I haven't showed off in almost two years. This is an Arcan Optic EP4. They're on the EP5 now, so you can't get these because, well, the EP5 is much improved anyway. But um, I had it laying around and I figured I'd show it off here to show you guys that's still rocking and rolling. It was an uh, economic optic back then and the new EP5 is actually more feature rich and about the same price. In the case you guys didn't know, SCARs and M1As in particular are pretty abusive guns on optics and uh, it's been rocking and rolling pretty good here. It's 50 cal rated. Um, but again, I'll leave the information kind of surface level on this because, well, one, they don't make it and I've already made a ton of reviews on the new EP5. But more of the story, Arcan Optics, EP line, economic but they perform really well if you guys want a full review on the ep5 and how to order it you know use code texas plinking and you could save a lot of money all that good stuff i'll leave another review or uh, more information in the description if you guys want that so anyway guys that's the rifle uh just so you guys are cut up to speed on what we're shooting with today in general i haven't shot a whole lot of long range in a while and i'm pretty much shooting two back-to-back -back videos it's going to be this and then the barrett mrad and 338 Lapua. So look out for that soon after this video. Now, before we get shooting with this M1A and 6.5 Creedmoor, I want to give a quick thanks to our sponsor, which is Personal Defense Network. With Personal Defense Network, you can join a community of thousands who are committed to developing their personal defense and firearm training skills. The premium membership gives you access to hundreds of full-length videos led by expert instructors in their field. Their video topics include emergency medical techniques, armed and unarmed defense, firearm training, security techniques, and tactics for your home, workplace defensive gear, and much more. I'll go ahead and put a link in the description if you guys want to sign up for that premium membership and if you guys do that through that specific link it's two dollars for the year that's right two bucks for the year i'm no math mythologist but i think that's down to a dollar every six months something like that okay it's 98 percent savings through that link in the description okay so check that out again that's personal defense network thank you guys so much for sponsoring this video uh there's some other people to thank but we'll save that for later on in the video for now let's go ahead and get shooting all right guys i didn't mention i'm going to be shooting some hornady black this is 140 grain botel hollow point I've had good luck with it in the past i just couldn't find it anywhere and i finally started finding it at academy not where it used to be it used to be like 80 cents around now it's two dollars around but you know beat some of the online prices i've seen recently let's go ahead and try it out let's just start off with uh, 600 yards um there's a confidence booster target hopefully the big old octagon there. I'm sure we'll be able to hit that with good ease. And if we do that, let's just go 600 yards on smaller targets. If we do that well, we'll go a little bit further. So, uh, pretty happy with my 100 yard zero. Right now it's telling me that um, 600 yards, I should probably do 3.8. However, I could already say, I think my velocity is a little off. There's 3.5, 6, 7, 8. I almost wanna jump the gun and just go to four right now. Yeah, this is a 22 inch barrel. I'm just gonna go to four mils. Wind seems calm. Let's see how we get on with that. All right, let's just go dead center, see what happens. All right, looks like good elevation, a bit left on wind. I don't, okay, that makes sense. I should have probably looked at a flag showing right to left wind. No dialing, we'll just hold. That pretty much went to my aim point, so maybe the wind died. All right, well, those are some hits. I say we load up and go for some smaller targets, but yeah, you gotta love big old confidence booster targets, so you could call them hits, but let's try to dial it in just a little bit more here. Of those three targets, the circle targets, let's just start with the larger one. I think it'll be smart to just hold slightly right still here. I like that. 
Let's go for that middle one. Bottom right of that. Let's go for that small one. How about that? M1A's putting in some work, huh? I like that. Um, was that it? Or is there one more? Let's try to end on a hit on that small one. Yeah, buddy. All right. I like that. We're done with 600 yards. I don't know how far I could go. Um, should be 750 on top of that hill. I'm going to keep elevation good. I'm going to hold right edge. Right edge again. I saw that. That's pretty centered. Just barely left. Oh, that went to my aim point. I was on the right edge there. Right side. Dead center. Stacked it. All right. Only missed one. So four for five there, and I missed it because the wind died, and I didn't look. So not bad. Let's just end it, spending some good time at a thousand. Should have mentioned this in the beginning. Um, Blackjack gunsmithing, a thanks to uh, give to them as well. They fit the rifle in the chassis, but they also did some trigger work on it to where it's actually a really light, clean break for uh, an M1A, lighter than I'm used to. So that's helping out a little bit as well. So uh, again, that's uh, Blackjack gunsmithing. If you guys are in the Central Texas area, Austin, Texas, uh, they do it all pretty much and they do good work. Hopefully you guys saw something because I did not. I'm going to hold it a little further to the right. I thought I saw some splash just behind it to the right. That's a hit. Okay, I don't know if I was hitting the other ones or not. I'm holding slightly high, a little right, but those are hits. Tell you what, just because we're out here, uh, I don't mind missing on camera. Same range. It's going to be very hard to see just because the uh, backstop is, you know, white rock. There's a white popper target, much, much smaller. So let's just aim small, miss small. Hopefully not miss at all. All right. Um, yeah, that tiny white popper to the right. Let's go for it. Oh, okay. Just barely low right of it. I think that's a hit. I thought I heard that. Uh, just low on that. Good hit. Back to that larger one at a thousand, the orange. All good hits. I'm curious about those uh, first ones though. Uh, maybe they were hits and I was expecting more of a splash and a audible effect, but all right, that was the arms with the M1A. It's not too bad. Um, in short, I mean, this is a really, really cool gun. I always thought it looked cool. You guys love seeing it, but I just never bought it out because the, I don't know, it just wasn't that fun to shoot, if I'm being honest. Not in the scout squad configuration, but I'm always gonna prefer a bolt action when I'm shooting 6.5, but to run something through like a M1A, just to make it a little different, pretty cool. Tell you what, guys, try not to make this video too long, but that's it for the M1A. But a uh, little extracurricular, you guys deserved it. Here's a gun you guys haven't seen in a while. All right, just like that, some movie magic for you guys. This is the Weatherby Carbon Mark V Elite. Haven't shown it off in a couple years. Good stuff. Good stuff. Should I just see if we can get two in a row here? Bottom right of it. I'm not gonna lie, I'm so glad I heard that because I lost it <laughs> under recoil. This thing's just so light, it moves off target so easily. I was just hoping I would hear it, but. All right, I know what the hold was. Let's try to do it again. All right, 
I'm gonna end it on a good note. So there it is, M1A and 65 Creedmoor. Uh, maybe a short video, maybe not. I don't know. I could ramble for a while. I know that. So, uh, but yeah, that about does it. Again, big thanks to Personal Defense Network for sponsoring this particular video. But a couple little extra thanks I want to give. Um, this is actually new to me. This is some uh, axle uh, hearing protection, and usually this in-ear stuff I don't do. But you know, I'm shooting an M1A under this canopy, and actually, it's incredibly quiet. It has Bluetooth. If you want to listen to music, take calls, all that kind of stuff. Uh, and it's also electric to where it cuts off, you know, high decibel sounds as you would hope, but amplifies talking and all that kind of stuff too. So that's Axel. I'll put a link in the description if you guys want to check that out. If you were to buy something from Axel through that link in the description, it actually throws me a bone. So you're kind of supporting me as well, but I won't plug them unless they're good. And as you can see, uh, I'm wearing them and I'm not losing my hearing, thankfully. Uh, if you go through that link also, you save 15% automatically just from using the link. So, you know, win-win. Also, random little plug as well, uh, Barbell Apparel, they're really cool. They've been sending me some cool merch. I should have been wearing it today, but it's laundry day, what can I say? Uh, but Barbell Apparel, I've been wearing a lot of their stuff, athletic wear, professional wear, jeans, all kinds of stuff like that. But the reason I wanna plug them is because they're not paying me, but they sent me some cool stuff. And I just thought to myself, if I'm gonna wear the stuff that I would be wearing anyway, uh, as far as like athletic wear and stuff like that, I'd rather wear something from a company that aligns with my values and they're into this kind of stuff. So Barbell Apparel, you've probably already heard of them, but if not, check them out. Again, they have jeans, professional wear, polos, all kinds of stuff like that. Um, so check them out. So yeah, that about does for this video. Um, I could just ramble on and on. I guess the last thing I'll say is at the time I'm shooting this video, I'm about a thousand subscribers away from a million. Maybe that changed by the time I upload it, but in case not, if you guys are watching it this far, you haven't subscribed, please consider it. But that does it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Catch you guys next time.